outer covering. Or inside, there are some organs are there. What are they? Liver, lung, uh, heart. What are they? So, organs also cover with, means the organs outer covering also made up with epithelial tissue. Means, epi means outer covering. Not only outside of the body, inside the organs are covered by also this epithelial layer. Sometimes, if it is inside the organs also arrange and protect the organs. That is epithelial tissue. So actually, this epithelial tissue where it is located. This epithelial tissue are located in our body, maybe skin. Skin means outer covering of our body. Lining of mouth. Lining of mouth. Inside our mouth, there is a lining. Have you seen? Inside our mouth, the whitish layer is there inside our mouth. So, our mouth, inside our mouth is covered with epithelial tissue. Next, lining of blood vessels means this is blood vessel. This blood vessel is lined with the epithelial tissue. Next, lungs alveoli. Do you know lungs? This is lung. Alveoli means inside the lungs, there are a small chamber like structures are there. Small chamber like structures are there. They are called alveoli. So, this alveoli is covered with epithelial tissue. This alveoli is covered with epithelial tissue. Alveoli means it is the part in the lungs. Okay, na? next. Kidney tubules. For example, this is kidney. This kidney tubules are lined with epithelial tissue. So, in this area, this epithelial tissue is located and protect the organs or body. The main purpose of the epithelial tissue, it protects the internal organs or outer covering of our body and mainly it is useful for transport certain materials. It means it is acting like a permeable membrane. Do you know permeable membrane? Permeable membrane, do you know? Permeable membrane means Manaki ye padadha laite avasaramo a padadha le lana kumbinchi ye padadha laite avasaramo le do a padadha le baidi kumbinchi. That is called permeability. It means what are the substances are needed to our body that substances are allowed to inside our body what are unnecessary in our body that materials it should send out from our body that work will be done by this epithelial layer wherever it is located that work will be done by this epithelial layer that is called permeability so this is this permeability we will learn out in the fourth lesson about the permeability we will learn in the fourth lesson okay Next, so that is the main purpose, means protection and it is acting like a transporter or it is called as permeable membrane, permeability. Okay now, so this is about epithelial tissue. So, there are three types of epithelial tissue. There are three types of epithelial tissue. What are they? Squamous epithelial tissue. Squamous epithelial tissue. Next. Cobalt and columnar. Means the cells are it look like columns. So that's the reason columnar. Cobalt cube shape. And squamous, it means square shape. The cells are arranged. So, according to the cells, the names are fixed in that. Okay. What is the squamous epithelial tissue? What is the squamous epithelial tissue? Actually, the squamous epithelial tissue, it is located 
in the skin and lining of alveoli already i explained lining of alveoli blood vessels in the blood vessels next lining of mouth so in those area there is a epithelial tissue the tissue is called squamous epithelial tissue the cells are arranged like that if you want to see this squamous epithelial tissue take a wooden stick and scratch it inside the mouth we have to scratch it and take a little amount of tissue in that part and keep it on the slide that's when put one drop of put a one drop of water on the object and keep it under the microscope then if you observe the cells are arranged in the tissue like this this is called squamous epithelium tissue <coughs> next cuboid cube shape the cells are arranged in a cube shape so where it is located this is also lining of kidney tubules already i explained this is kidney these are the kidney tubules so the lining of the kidney tubules the lining of the kidney tubules and ducts of the salivary glands and in our body lo salivary glands untay kada three pairs of salivary glands are there so our salivary glands with ducts untay kada gotta so our gotta lining also covered with this cuboidal epithelial tissue cuboidal epithelial tissue next columnar epithelial tissue columns it look like a column shaped cells on the mata tissue so where this is located so it is actually where there is a absorption and secretion takes place absorption means absorb this one secretion means vidudal cheyadu absorption and secretion where it is takes place in the animal body there there is tissue the tissue name is called columnar epithelial tissue so like that the epithelial tissue is divided into three types first one squamous second one cuboidal the third one columnar epithelial tissue okay now so actually skin is one the main type of epithelial tissue where it is located skin but if you observe nails hey the feathers of birds nail hey the feathers of birds the scales of the fish is also epithelial tissue but that is that epithelial tissue is modified epithelial tissue what is that modified epithelial tissue that is also epithelial tissue the feathers of birds the scales of fishes nails that is modified epithelial tissue epi means up pine wound there thelium means pore pine wound it will be pore epithelial tissue the second tissue that is called connective tissue what is that connective tissue in our body there are different organs in our body there are different organs are located in their specific area how these organs are located at the specific area who is binding the organs in that specific area that is connective tissue the connective tissue connects the organs with muscles and arrange in their specific area to 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 form a framework to the body and it organs a area lo unnaro aa area lo unde laga muscles tho attach chestu body ki oka aakaranni teesukochede connective tissue if there is no connective tissue what will happen if there is no connective tissue this total organs are displaced in the body 
then it become it look like a ball it look like a ball means there is no specific shape to our body if there is no connective tissue connective tissue what are the functions of this connective tissue look at the both binding the other tissue and organs ఒక టిష్యూని ఆర్గాన్ తోటి జత చేయడానికి పట్టి ఉంచడం ఇట్స్ బైండింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ ఫ్రేమ్ వర్క్ ఎస్ ద హై ఈస్ లొకేటెడ్ హియర్ ఓన్లీ ద లోస్ ఈస్ లొకేటెడ్ హియర్ ఓన్లీ ద హార్ట్ ఈస్ లొకేటెడ్ హియర్ ఓన్లీ ద లంగ్స్ ఆర్ లొకేటెడ్ హియర్ ఓన్లీ ద కిడ్నీస్ ఆర్ లొకేటెడ్ హియర్ ఓన్లీ దెన్ ఆటోమేటికలీ దెర్ ఈస్ ఏ framework is formed in our body the framework is creates by this connective tissue the connective tissue which is helpful to form a framework of our body okay next it support various organs in the body as yes. support if there is no connective tissue the organ will go into another place it support okay next transport materials from one tissue to another tissue okay oka tissue nunchi inko tissue ki food material ga vere vere substances transport cheyadulo kuda this is participated what is that connective tissue the connective tissue which is helpful for transports the material from one tissue to another tissue next body defends yes sometimes we are facing some of the problems during that time it is acting like a defensor it's participate in the process of defense and also repair if you are suffering from any injuries during that time it will participate in, in the remedy any problems takes place in the body this connective tissue will do the రిపేర్ వర్క్ రిపేర్ వర్క్ నట్టు బోర్డు బిగించడం కాదు అంటే ఆ ఏరియాలోకి వెళ్ళి అది క్యూర్ అయ్యేలాగ చేస్తుంది అనమాట ఇట్స్ రిపేర్ నెక్స్ట్ స్టోరీస్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్యాట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్ ద కనెక్టివ్ టిష్యూ ఈజ్ యూజ్ఫుల్ ఫర్ స్టోర్స్ ద ఫ్యాట్ ఇఫ్ దేర్ ఇస్ నో ఫ్యాట్ ఇన్ అవర్ బాడీ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపెన్ యూ విల్ నాట్ గెట్ ఎనర్జీ ఎవ్రీ డే వీ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఎనర్జీ ఈవెన్ దో సమ్టైమ్స్ వీ ఆర్ నాట్ టేకింగ్ ఫుడ్ is it right so in that time how we are getting energy from the fat only from the fat only the fat means that is the stored energy stored energy so the connective tissue is participated in the storage of fat okay these are the functions of connective tissue so there are in this connective tissue so many types of so many so many types are there what are the types of connective tissue now we will see types of connective tissue types of connective tissue what are the first one areolar tissue second one adipose tissue third one bone bone also one type of connective tissue cartilage ligament tendon these are the six types of connective tissues which is present in the connective tissue now we will see one by one the first one areolar tissue what is that areolar tissue where it is actually where there is actually the muscle connects the organs the organs bind in specific area that is connected by actually internal internally internal internal section of our body there are some organs so that organs are bind with this connective tissue in a specific place joint different tissue joint different tissue means different organs are joined by this areolar tissue connect okay, actually 
the main purpose of this connective tissue is packing pack means pack means heart lungs kidneys are packed in specific area that is called packing packing means avi oka specific area lo unde la pack cheyadam in their places packing keep the organs in in their places ala unde la pack chestam who is that area la tissue next actually in this tissue there is a special muscle that is called fibroblasts actually in this muscle tissue sorry uh, in this uh, areola tissue there are some special cells are there they are called fibroblasts what is that fibroblast this fibroblasts are secretes the fibrous material because of this fibrous material only the organs are bind in their specific area adamaina ante ee area la tissue edaithe undo aa tissue lo unde cells fibrous and material secret chestu look like thread like structures anamata fibrous fibrous material fiber fibrin means thread like material so the fibrous material secreted by this fibroblast cells this fibroblast cells are located in the area of tissue so because of this material the organs are binds in specific area inside our body then only our body will get the framework okay now. next this is also participated what is this area of tissue is also participated in the repair when you are getting injuries this is a much area of tissue so the next connective tissue is adipose tissue adipose what is that adipose during the winter season we are uh, getting shivering huh? why because especially old people during the winter season they will get shivering like this why do you know what is the use of shivering when we get shivering in our body we will get the heat when shivering takes place in our body with the help of the shivering we will get heat that heat is produced by adipose tissue the heat is produced by adipose tissue okay actually where it is located this adipose tissue beneath or below the skin for example this is skin below the skin there is a additional layer that is called adipose okay let me tell you kovu pora adipose means kovu pora below the skin and also between the internal organs organ to organ margin and space kuda there is a adipose tissue between the internal organs and in this tissue in this tissue cells they secrete fat globules and the kobula and padarthana sravistha adipose tissue lo unde cells fat globules ni secrete chestha okay na so actually this adipose tissue it is act like a insulator insulator ante body lo unde heat bite kelakonda bite kelakonda kapunchutund anamata if there is no fat sufficient fat in our body the total heat it will go away from our body to out so that's the reason it's cover the fat layer it covers the body and act as a insulator adu men adu man body lo unnadu kuda manaki em ostundandi heat produce avutundi this is about adipose tissue adipose tissue is one type of connective tissue next third one bone actually all the tissues are soft all the tissues are soft in our body no 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 in animal body some of the tissues are 
soft some of the tissues are hard it means the bone is also a tissue what type of tissue that is a connective tissue that is a connective tissue bone okay now we will see about bone so bone is also a one type of connective tissue so what is the use of the bone framework framework and support framework and support actually uh, our total uh, skeleton in our skeleton or our animal skeleton the main component what is the bone the major component of the skeletal system what is that bone in all the vertebrates except snakes some of the reptiles the main skeletal system that is bone okay now actually bone is made up with calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate and bone deenu tayaru avutundi calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate in the bone if you break the bone inside the bone there is a inside the bone i break the bone so inside the bone there is a liquid type material that is called bone marrow that is called bone marrow in the bone there are some cells the cells name is called osteocytes what is that osteocytes these osteocytes actually from this bone marrow only the rbc is produced red blood cells are produced from this bone marrow okay this is a bone is also one type of connective tissue it is made up with calcium carbonate and also calcium phosphate it it will give support it is the main component of the skeletal system okay next cartilage cartilage is also one type of connective tissue where it is located this cartilage joints of bones for example this is a bone this is a bone in between there is a joint this is a bone this is a bone in between there is a joint so in those area there is a connective tissue that is called cartilage and also tip of the ribs tip of the ribs tip of the nose tracheal system so in those area there is a connective tissue that is called cartilage if you see some of the all the vertebrates are not formed with bone some of the tissues some of the vertebrates like shark fish shark fish in the shark shark fish there is a skeletal system but this look like a skeletal system do you know that is soft skeleton means that is not a hard bone that is not a hard bone in the embryo in the embryo baby is also having cartilage means the bones are made up with cartilage not as a bone hard bone it means the cartilage is a the cartilage is a hard and that can what the but not as hard as bone and bone kante ante mana body lo undi bones anta gatti bone mere pranga shark fish mullu tinnada chala smooth ga undi is it right na samudra chapu ledu ga undi metta ga undi that is called cartilage see external layer it's look like a bone but it is not a bone but it is a soft bone it is a soft bone see it is a bone but it is not a hard bone. it is a soft this is also cartilage so this is about cartilage cartilage is also one type of connective tissue so the next connective tissue that is called ligament it connects the bones at the joints ekkade the joints unde bones a joints the three rendu bones ni connect cheyadaniki upayogapadtadu anamata then it become a position connect chesi avu position lo unchadaniki upayogapadtadu what is that ligament 
this is made up with fibers ligament in the fibers there is a special protein that is called collagen this fiber secreted a special protein that is called collagen so because of the this ligament is elastic in nature elastic in nature okay next tendon this is also fibrous material this is also one type of fibrous material this is also made up with collagen collagen means one type of protein what is the use of this tendon this is bone this is muscle so the muscle is attached with the bone with the help of tendon the muscle ni bone to attach cheyadaniki upayogapadina tendon ani adamena so this is about tendon so these are all types of connective tissue so how many types of connective tissues are there areola tissue adipose tissue bone cartilage ligament and tendon these are the six types of connective tissue so in the next class we will discuss about the another tissue that is called muscular tissue and also nerve tissue okay